we have time for a, a, a call or two. I know you're out there. Um, I can tell because we have controls to tell us how many listeners. If you'd like to have a quick uh, uh, a comment or a question for Don Jansen, it's 888-1-NET-6, 888-1-NET-6, and we'll just pick it up and you can ask him a question. we got to get you up here to the Dripping Springs area. And do a little workshop again. Remember, we did one some years yeah. ago, and we had a we had like a hundred people. And you just oh. talked about the ocean grown technology. We had a ball. Yeah, I'll, this time I'll show them how to grow grass. We've got to get more serious about that. Oh, grow, yeah, I'll show people how to grow grass. wheatgrass. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody should learn that. I I just had a class here in Naples last week, and we had about thirty five people came, and I brought trays and showed different stages of it. And how boy, they. A lot of them are growing it this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we need to, in our houses, we can grow our own grass, and it's incredible. Uh-huh. We it, need to supplement our food with good food. Do you use the uh, then fluorescent lights as, uh, for the lighting? Just regular, yeah, fluorescent lights are fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, for plants that don't set flower, regular, any kind of light bulb works. But if you're going to have fruit set and a blossom set, you need the, okay. uh, ultraviolet. Yes, then you need a special bulb. Hi, where are you calling from? San Marcos. Okay, uh, go ahead. Well, you're on there. Uh, yes, uh, the question is, when you talk about the ratios of the uh, rain, ocean water to rainwater, are we measuring 2,500 parts you know, as uh, conductivity or total dissolved solids, or is that oh, the actual solid. physical ratio? you got to turn down your computer a little bit. He said total dissolved solids. Yeah. And and you can measure it the other way with conductivity, but gotcha. TDS okay. is very what I like to measure with. Yeah, TDS. That answers it. Thank you so much. Well, you're quite welcome. Glad you're out there. Yeah. Um, so total dissolved solids. That's what that's what you do, right? And TDS you, meter. Yeah, you're you get one of those little meters. They're very inexpensive, aren't they? I have a, yeah. I have a couple of them, and and yeah. H uh, yeah. and M uh, Digital sells them on the internet. For twenty five dollars, I think H and M Digital. Yeah, on the and internet for twenty five bucks. They're very good. I've used mine for years. They're very uh-huh. good. Don Jansen, I have some fruit trees outside and uh, fig trees, um, and I've been giving them a solution. What would be the, uh, uh, the the best ratio, the TDS for those kinds of things? I'd say trees can easily take two thousand. About two thousand. Yeah, parts per million. Have- at least once a week, give them a drink. Oh, you know, I did this. Oh, I can do it once a week. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, they, they all love you. Really? And about, if you have a big tree like an avocado tree or an orange tree, mm-hmm. about a five-gallon bucket, just ring it right around the stem, the, the trunk, and then let it pour out where the roots are. Okay. The size of the bush above it. And, man, that's a good drink. And then the rainwater will take it down to them. Okay. So I'll get about a five-gallon bucket and fill it up with my rainwater and uh, dump in enough ocean water for 2,000 parts per million. And once a week, just have a go, huh? Oh, yeah. Do that to the summer, Folk, and they'll love you. Folks, i got to tell you, I, I gave these small fig trees. They're only about uh, two feet high, the, some uh, ocean water about a week and a half ago. And you cannot believe what happened in the last week and a half. <laughs> I mean, you could yeah. tell the difference. Yeah. It's I, I'm just blown away. It's like, okay, now where are folks going to get ocean water? Because I brought in a few, few barrels for myself years ago from, um, let's see, Kevin uh, up in Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, right. How can folks get it? Uh, what, what oh, I have a, a friend in Miami who goes out in the Atlantic, and uh, he's getting it now, and he can uh, send you a five-gallon bucket to UPS. Okay. And uh, he gets, uh, I think it's $17 a gallon he wants for it. Yeah, that's what I pay him for it. But but that's a good deal because it's going to last a very long time. Oh, well, well dilute it down to five ounces to get your fifteen hundred. That gives you about thirty five gallons when you buy a five gallon bucket. That's quite a bit of fertilizer for a garden and for plants in the house. Well, especially if you do hydroponic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it reuse, and then reuse. when you know once we this is just the beginning of of the revolution, right? So once yeah. we really get enough people. Uh, around the area, like the Dripping Springs area, I mean, not, but the Austin area, we'll yeah. be able to get enough people so we can get a truckload and stuff like right. that. And then right. we can get, people can get a whole barrel for a lot less money. 
and and they could go to your coastline, go on the Gulf, stay away from the big cities, and yeah. go out about ten, fifteen miles a boat, get you a bunch of barrels of it, it'd be a lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah. we can we can figure it out ourselves. But we recommend that. But first, much. we need to get you know a few hundred people who are into it and, yeah. and that kind yeah. of thing. And that'll just take a little while, but we'll build it with one radio network. And because yeah. come the revolution, folks, you know yeah. all, what we need is just food. You know we <laughs> we need food. We need some minerals so we can think clearly, right? Right, and you can survive and stay healthy even though there won't be good food. I saw Anne Wigmore lived through the Second World War. She and her mother and her grandmother hid up in the in the attic, and the night a little Anne would go out and tear off grass, and the next day they sat up in the attic and chewed everything downstairs was stolen because soldiers would come dropping down. They didn't know the women were up in the attic. Right. But Anne lived through the Second World War off of grass, off the land. Now, had they had wheat grass, it would have been better grown in ocean water, but they didn't know that. Yeah, I've heard that story. Isn't it a wonderful story, folks? So that's actually how Ann Wigmore got to start, yeah. right? That's how yeah. she figured out how powerful grass was. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. And if you've just joined us, Don Jansen said at the beginning of the program that he stumbled on the fact that grass is the one species on the planet that will uptake every mineral that you introduce to it. Every mineral. The other um, species like sweet potatoes or potatoes or celery, they're what, uh, Don, they're, they're kind of genetically designed to only pick up a certain amount, right? Yeah, and when you get hybrid seeds, they're overdosed to genetically engineered to take up way more NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, oh. potassium, than you would out of ocean water. When you use ocean water, the best seeds to get are open-pollinated heirloom seeds, and yes. then they match the ocean beautifully. I never altered the fertilizer. Yeah. And when my, I had hybrids, I had to add, add stuff. Yeah. So, so, the, so they, they, they manufacture these seeds to, to just take up the NPK stuff. Right, right. Way more than normal. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Boy. Do you think that's why we're all kind of silly, because we don't have enough minerals? We, it's hard of to think clear? You think so? Mars, that's why we're sick and we don't feel good and we don't have energy. You bet. People always have all kinds of ailments. They don't have that. It's like telling you to repair your house and you want a new roof put on. And when the guy comes to repair it, he wears a shingle and says, oh, I don't have any, but fix it. Well, what's he going to do? There's no nails, no shingles. That's the way we do our bodies. There's nothing to repair it. And we are made from the elements and we've got to have the elements to repair the body will heal itself if we give it the elements. It knows what to do with it, but you've got to have the shingles there. Mm-hmm. You got know, it. it won't do it. Got to have them. Don, do you have a, an email if folks want to reach you? Yes, sir. It's Donald period Jansen mm-hmm. at gmail.com. Donald period Jansen at gmail.com. Uh, yeah. 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 I have to answer questions help people get started. Yeah, and uh, as we get going, now that I'm at this full time, we're going to be able to do a lot more, but we can take some photos of our whole setup here, Dripping, and folks, again, I'll offer an invitation to you. Don, help me set up a really beautiful uh, system uh, with uh, that's hydroponic in gravel, and you can get an idea. I, I invite you over. Just email me, patrick at oneradionetwork.com, patrick at one radio network.com you'll be happy to have you come over you can take a look at it and then build your own at home and it's a beautiful thing because you don't have to just once a day you could actually put it on a timer and since there's no weeds you wouldn't have to do anything that's right <laughs> you know automatic water yeah, you wouldn't have day. to do anything you just you just you know you the god go out and pick go out and pick the fruit yeah just go out and pick the fruit well i'm glad you told me about that uh my fruit trees, boy, I'm excited about that. I didn't know you could yeah. water them once a week. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, they don't need it every day at all because mm-hmm. they got massive roots, and that's the most I've ever. In fact, I changed the whole uh, uh, orchard around with all the dying. They call it young, young tree decline, YTD, mm-hmm. and he had a bunch of dead trees in his grove, and I watered them three times in three months. 